Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about our first data structure which is a stack. Okay. We will also talk about array. First let's talk about stack. Okay. So stack data structure works on the LIFO pattern. Last in, first out. It is nothing but a pattern of storing data in a particular pattern. So stack you can say it's a vertical a cube where you, you keep pushing the elements. 1, 2, 3, right? So it's like a one way of entry and one way of out in this particular way of organizing the data. So one, two, three. Now if you wanted to move the elements, you can move only the last inserted element first. You can't insert, you can't extract one before extracting two. So this is a last in, first out. Okay. So the two is the last inserted. So you can only extract two first, then only one will be extracted. Okay, so last in first out, if we just start, take a look on to this example, this is a simple stack having only one. Now you keep adding the elements like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a stack. Now if you wanted to pop the elements, move the elements, moving the element is a pop operation, adding the element is a push operation. Okay, so pop element you can only pop 6 first, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2. Okay, you can't pop any random elements. So this is a particular particular way of organizing the elements which are based on the LIFO pattern last in first out. You can extract the sixth element first because it is last inserted. Okay. If you talk in terms of code stack is just a simple operation. It is providing push, pop, peep. Okay. Push will add the element, pop will pop the element, whatever last inserted. And the, this kind of a stack data structure also applies to the call stack which happens in any of the programming language like where one function is calling another function is calling another function right so consider that this average average function is also being called from some another function get data okay and here I'm passing I'm calling average by passing these two arguments okay and then here I'm calling get data right so this is a call stack it will create so first in the call there will be there will be get data then get data is calling average so this is a kind of call stack will build and then it is calling add so in stack we have all these elements now add will evaluate the value and it will return so it will remove from the stack then add will return the value to the average here we got the value now average will return the value and it will also remove from the stack then get data will get the value from the average function and it will also return and gone right so this is also a call stack where one function is calling another function we talked the same concept in the functional recursion where function is calling itself till the base condition is reached here we are calling another function and another function is calling another function this will also build the same kind of stack on top of each other and the last callee will return the value and similarly this stack will reversely backtrack and will return our, as the data okay so we'll talk about some of the examples like how to implement stack using simple array simple linked list what all different programming problems we can solve with the help of stack implementation using array in the coming videos